it's time for some millennial rain speculation. This is going to be like 90% speculation. So if you agree or disagree with me, great. That's totally fine. I'm not saying this is 100% fact. This is just what I have reasonably deduced and what I believe to be true. There's not a whole lot written about the millennial reign. I do want to go over one thing in the Apocrypha that does talk about it, though. This is Enoch chapter 10, and it says that Satan and his minions will be bound up together until the consummation of many generations has passed. And it says that all the holy ones will give thanks and live until they have begotten a thousand children, while the whole period of their youth and their Sabbath shall be completed in peace. In those days, all the earth shall be cultivated in righteousness. It shall be wholly planted with trees and filled with benediction. Every tree of delight shall be planted in it. And it says the earth will be purified from all oppression and injustice, all crime, all impiety, all pollution, which is committed on it now. And it says the children of men shall be righteous and all the nations shall pay God divine honor and bless him and adore him. And it says that the earth shall be cleansed from all corruption and from all crime and from all punishment and all suffering. So this is one of the very few things written about the millennial reign. And now is where we kick into speculation mode. It says earlier in that chapter that all the souls addicted to lust will be destroyed. So I believe that the holy ones will be raised again. And I believe this is where people will get their second chance. Like if somebody had never ever in their lifetime heard about Jesus on some island out there in the middle of nowhere, never heard about him in his entire lifetime. I believe this is where he'd get his second chance in the millennial reign. And I also believe this is where all the like aborted and killed babies will grow up. Now, whether that is or is not right, think about it this way too. If the holy men get to raise a thousand generations of children, all those children will never have had a true choice. They would have grown up in basically a utopian paradise. And this is exactly why I believed it says that Satan will be loosed for a little season after the millennial reign. Because all these people that grew up in the millennial reign never got to see both sides of the coin. They never got a true choice whether to serve God or to serve evil or themselves. So I believe Satan will come back to give all those people a choice. And it does say that everyone that is resurrected to the millennial reign will be spared the second death. So all this would only apply to the people that grew up or got their second chance in the millennial reign. But again, this is my speculation on it. If you guys have another opinion, comment below. I'd love to hear it.